Come on, get up. Gosh, is it time to get up already? Come on. It seems like we just oh. fell asleep. Uh. Ouch! Cut it out, fellas. Cut it out. Look, boy, get your instruments, will you? We got a lot of rehearsing to do. You never can tell when we might get a job. Hey, wait a minute. What about some breakfast? Yeah, breakfast. That's a bad habit you guys got. You want to eat every day. First thing you know, you want to eat twice a day. <laughs> oh, boy, food! Yeah, we eat. Come on, come on, come just on, Just a here. minute, just a minute. I'll taste it and see if it's sweet. It's sweet, all right. No, 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 get away. You don't eat until you run through that radio commercial number. Now, come on, get going. Oh, oh gee. Rehearsing. Oh, we're always rehearsing. Yeah, I'm, I'm sick and tired of this myself. Practice, practice. That's what, all we ever do. When do we eat? I'm hungry. So am I. You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on the radio these days, one hears many commercials in musical patter. One of these is very well known to you, and the boys would like to render their original version of it at this time. All right, Art, start the washing machine. and dry that washing machine. It's splashing all over. Oh, I'm sorry, fellas. F-U-Z, F-U-Z, every morning, noon, and night, fuzz keeps dishes nice and bright. If your ears still have that buzz, wash them out with wondrous fuzz. And now the boys would like to give you their nonsensical impression of how various famous radio stars might do the same commercial. Nice and bright. Oh. If your ears still have that buzz, oh. wash them out with wondrous fuzz. Oh. Now listen here to me, honey child. Uh, put fuzz in your old scrub bucket, honey. Oh. And watch those glad rags come out so nice and white and clean. Oh. If your ears Still have that buzz. Oh. Wash them out with a wondrous fuzz. Oh, 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 what a life for me. Why, every morning, noon and night, fuzzy dishes nice and bright. Now, if your ears still have that buzz, wash them out with a wondrous fuzz. Mammy. I would like to tell the story of when I was a little boy of nine years old. My father took me to the fuzz factory. There, for the first time, I saw soap, tons of soap, bubbles. Every morning, noon, and night, fuzz keeps dishes nice and bright. If your ears still have that buzz, wash them out with wondrous fuzz, 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 fuzz. Every morning, noon, and night, fuzz keeps dishes nice and bright. If your ears still have that buzz, wash them out with wondrous fuzz, 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 fuzz. Come on, cut it out, fellas. Ready?
with this thing anyway. <coughs> okay, fellas, that's enough. Break it up. I'm going down the hall to see Myrtle. Do you know what day today is? It isn't Christmas, is it? Christmas in July? No. It's our sixth anniversary. No fool. Six years ago today, we became engaged. And for six years, you've been coming here every morning to sponge breakfast for me. But Myrtle, my little turtle. Don't turtle me, you hotcake destroyer. If you don't find a job so we can get married, I'm giving you the air. But Myrtle, my little skirtle, you know I've been studying psychology. And what has psychology to do with music? A lot. Why, we're going to combine the two. You know, music has charms to soothe the savage beast. Well, we're going to use music to cure mental disorders. Why, if a guy has a screw loose, we just play music till he tightens it up. We'll make history. Musical medicine in big doses. Joe, that's a wonderful idea. If you could cure Mr. Lark, the old man I'm nursing, I'm sure he'd give you a fortune. That's right. You told me about him having bats in a belfry. It looks like we have a case. You go get dolled up while I finish my breakfast. Oh, the coffee. These are cold. Who wants cold hotcakes? You know, the boys are going to be mighty, mighty happy to hear about this. Money at last, we're going to have real money. Mrs. Schultz go crazy, we'll just have to pay her. But first, a little psychology music for lovely Mrs. Schultz. May I have this dance? Besides listening to this wonderful music. Here, there's the money for our back rent. Thank you. Ah, tut, tut. <laughs> that dame's going crazy like a fox. Hey, fellas, we got a patient to cure with our music. We're going to go to work. We're going to go to work. We'll make a lot of dough. How'd you do it, pal? Say, what do you know, Joe? <laughs> you work for anyway. Oh, he's apt to be most anywhere, playing with his trick contraptions or hiding from imaginary Indians. Maybe he's up in the attic, playing with his toy trains. Or he could be down in the basement. I'll bet that's where he is. Oh! Th what? Oh, nothing, nothing. I tell you what you do. Go on in there, the piano's in there, and try to lure the old man in with some music. I'll call the boys and tell them to hurry right over. Good.
just my imagination. Fellas, quit clowning. If uh, if we could only find Mr. Lark, maybe we could get some work done. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Indians! Oh, no, no, Mr. Lark. It's me, your nurse. Uh, now, you uh, sit down and be quiet. The boys have come to play music. And now, Mr. Lark, imagine we have a rocket ship. We hop aboard for a fast trip around the world. The first stop, the land of the Volga. we take you to the wonderful land of the shamrocks. I can just picture it now. The wonderful scenery, me wonderful feather, me wonderful mither, flitting hither, thither, and hither, while me grandfather plays on his zither. <laughs> takes us to beautiful Italy. So yes. Ah, uh, that's a pretty nice. A uh, no. Oh. Lucia. Very good, boys. And now back to heaven on earth, the good old USA, where men are men and women are glad of it. Okay, boys, swing it. <laughs> Play that song, Joey. 
Thank <laughs> you. 